What's going on, everyone? I wanted to make a quick little PSA video about this um, because this was I was pulling my hair out, and the support people for this didn't know the answer. And I found a guy's video, but it was like super buried in the depths of YouTube. And I, I, I will give him full credit. I'll put, put a link to his video in the description and all that. But let me give you a quick rundown, okay? So if you have one of these cheap Android head units, um, I love these things. They, they, they're incredible value for money. Um, I absolutely love mine. This is my dual core. I'm upgrading it to this quad core one. Um, but the quad core one has a completely different OS than this one. So the one on the left uses Android Go. And the one on the right uses like full-blown Android 8 or whatever, right? They sell it as Android 9.1, but it's not. It's Android 8. It doesn't matter. It's still pretty awesome, right? So the one on the left, if, you're, if your car is like mine, I have this antenna wire. Uh, I was using this to switch on my factory amplifier. So I have a factory amplifier behind the dash here. Um, and uh, my old head unit uh, it constantly powered this, right? So... Anytime I would listen to audio, my factory amp would be on, um, and I wouldn't have any problems at all, okay? The new one, the quad-core one, um, I verify this with my multimeter, too. My quad-core one does not supply power to the factory amplifier when, um, I, when you're not using the radio app. So if you turn on the radio app, it, it applies power to the amplifier, and you can listen to the radio just fine. And I, I, I will show you all of this here in a second, because um, uh, this drove me insane. I can't believe this, and I can't believe their support doesn't know this. But um, uh, the new amplifier, it uses the same harness as this, so I didn't rewire anything, right? Um, when you listen to the radio, it applies 12 volts here, which turns on the factory amplifier, which turns on the sound. I was tearing my hair out, because I could listen to the radio app just fine, but the Bluetooth wouldn't work, YouTube wouldn't work, uh, Spotify wouldn't work. Drove me insane. I could not figure it out. Um, but again, I verified with my multimeter, my cheap uh, $4, you know, giveaway door prize Harbor Freight um, multimeter. Stuck a probe in this wire. And sure enough, when I was on the radio app, there was 12 volts. When I switch, switch off of the radio app, no volts. So I will, I will show you the symptoms here in a second. Okay, got the quad core head unit plugged back in. I have the radio radio app on, and obviously you can hear it, right? And I've got it on NPR, so I don't get copyright strike, right? I've got the um, positive probe pushed in underneath the heat shrink, touching the wiring there. I've got my multimeter right here. So if you take a look at that. I don't know why it's still why it's registering anything right now, but if I touch it to the chassis. Look at that, 14 volts, right? All right, if I switch it off of this app, uh, let me hit back. All right, I'm here on the home screen. Touch it to the chassis. Nothing. Dead, baby. Dead. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the accessory wire because I, I don't want... The other guy, um, he wired the amplifier to constant power, and I don't want to do that because it'll drain my battery, right? So... I'm going to wire it up to accessory because all this is, is a, this is a uh, switch for the amplifier. It gets power from like the stock harness and all that. So all this does is switch it on. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I will tap into that, twist that together, and then we'll see what we get. Obviously we'll know because it'll be playing sound. Okay, so this is the dual core unit. I wanted to show you this real fast. This is the one that I'm upgrading from. This one works just fine. It's just kind of slow. Uh, and it has some problems with the Wi-Fi sometimes, but um, now that, that it's been a loyal soldier to me. I, I can't really complain. It's just going to get put in my uh, Porsche, my old Porsche over there. So, all right, got the positive probe in there. I just want to show that it, it provides constant 14 volts or whatever. Yeah, see? So, that's why I didn't have that problem with this head unit. And this one uses Android Go instead of uh, Android 8.0. So completely different OS. All the apps are like lightweight apps. Like it's like light, lightweight YouTube, lightweight Waze, you know, whatever. All right, let's get the wire switched over to the accessory and see if that solves our problem. Okay, I don't know if you can see it there, but there's the new splice. Uh, I tied into the accessory right here. And as you can hear, it's playing these sweet, sweet sounds of Moog right there. Shoutouts to him for letting us use his music in our videos without giving us copyright strikes. We appreciate that. 
but yeah, hopefully this helps some people out. Um, I struggled and struggled and struggled trying to find the answer to that question for so long. And I found that one dude's video and I will give him credit in the comments. Uh, he deserves it, but I'm hoping people will be able to find my video easier and then get to his video. So hopefully this helps you out. Like I mentioned, this impacts like a lot of these Chinese androhenia. It's not just the one that I have. The one that I have is a single DIN 10 inch screen. Uh, but there's ones that are like uh, like Tesla style, like one big screen right in the center, center console. It impacts those. It basically impacts any, any of these things that have this particular OS. And this is definitely like a software problem, right? Because this thing worked for a whole day for me before it stopped working. And like I said, my other one works just fine. My uh, dual core one that uses the uh, Android Go uh, that is meant for low power devices. And like I said, that unit worked just fine. I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big fan of this brand that I bought it from. Um, but their support just didn't know the answer. And because it's daytime here in China, um, it's nighttime. So I was talking to the night shift person and the engineer guy, uh, wasn't able to respond. So, um, I'm sure they know, that person might know this, but I'm going to go ahead and tell the support person anyway to have them double check and make sure that, that their amp is getting, you know, 12 volts. That's not switched or that they know that there's maybe a software setting that is taking power away from the power antenna, uh, connection either way i'm happy i got an upgraded head unit and uh yeah ready to get back on the road so thanks for watching hopefully this helps you out show one more time I got it pushed back in and buttoned back up and we're all good reverse my reverse stuff still works heck yeah like I said I'm a big fan of these things don't be afraid to buy them they do they do great job but the uh, documentation can be a bit spotty sometimes thanks for watching